All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of the Embraer EMB-1. 110 has been recently updated to Microsoft Flight Simulator and today is the day that we're going to find out what did they do to it. I know they have uh, a couple of things they listed here. I was just reading them over. Some of which have to do with the fuel condition lever now being the uh, um, fuel lever. So we're going to see what that's all about. They had visual effects different on it now, so hopefully they cleaned up the scratched up windows that we all didn't like from it, because other than that, this plane is pretty amazing for the most part. So let's go ahead and jump inside, and let me just check a couple of things. Okay, so they still only have the basic liveries. Okay, yep, they didn't give us any extra liveries with the update, but that's okay. But let's see if they actually improved on the aircraft. We'll go ahead and pick the B-1. Uh, this is a pretty nice aircraft. I guess we could also do this one if you wanted to. Let's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Ah, man, so many decisions. Let's just pick this one. I haven't never, um... Yeah, you know what? I'll do the one that I usually fly. That way I can at least tell the difference. We'll be putting ourselves in the ground on the Bahamas here. And seeing what this plane is all about. So, welcome aboard, guys, and welcome to the updates. This, uh, it's been a lot of updates recently. They updated the Vision Jet, they updated the Honda Jet, they updated the Embraer, and they updated all of the Airbuses. So, I'm going to do some update reviews and see what they're all about. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do every one of them, but I'll definitely try out the Vision Jet. I'll try out the Honda Jet. I did try out the Honda Jet. I liked it so far. Um, but okay, let's uh, talk about the Embraer for now. All right. Oh, whoa. That's a big iPad. I don't remember if that was there before. I know you can hide it too. We can turn it on. Oh, let's see. Did they? Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. They have finally. Uh, well, it's still a little bit scratched up, but a lot, a lot better than before, right? So here it is, the Embraer. EMB 110. I love this plane. I think this is such a fascinating airplane here. Um, supposedly they got the radar working in it now, so that will be interesting to see. Um, let's do the checklist, get this thing started. They have an extensive checklist now, which is pretty uh, crazy. Uh, maybe we'll have to skip through that and just go to the basic because this is uh, very intense. So after, before start off checklist, we'll go with that first. Okay, so... The flaps are up and checked. Um, let's see. Altimeter will adjust. I already could tell that it, it's very nicely done. And we have all these radio stacks right in order. I'm already liking this a lot. We're definitely going to have to fly this. We might even do a live stream with this later on. Very, very interesting. Okay. Fuel pumps can go on. Check and we'll put those to on. Mixture. We'll put to rich. This used to be condition lever, supposedly. Let's see what, what the difference is. What's that? Full. We gotta close up the door too. So these are all open. We'll go ahead and close them. Take off all these wheel chocks, covers, need to heat. Get rid of all that stuff. Okay. And now, I think, should be ready for the startup, right? Startup engine, both. All right, here's the fuel panel up here. So, turn those two on. Turn the batteries on. Um, I think we have to put the inertial separators on it too, right? Both of them, right? On. Now, it doesn't show that it's allowing me to do that yet, so fuel pump are on. Both on. We got power. And cheese are normal. Fuel mixture. I think it should be good on that, right? Stable. It looks a lot nicer, I'll tell you that. Like, just looking inside the cockpit again, 
they really, really did good so far. I could tell. I could definitely tell. All right, we got all that on. Battery switch is on. This is power to external. I want to get this plane on the. It has some uh, electrical issues if you don't put it on correctly. Um, it will kill the battery pretty quickly here. So, all right, let's go ahead and try to get this thing started then. Get that out of the way. It even has this, which is super cool. The, I mean, pretty much there's nothing really that doesn't work really good on this aircraft. I should probably do more flights. It's just the scratch up windows is what kind of killed it a little bit for me. All right, so what do we need to do now? Inishi. Inertial. Inertial separators won't come on until the plane is started, right? We're going to start them both together. Still doesn't want to come on for that yet. Door is closed. Props are fully forward. Condition lever is also now fuel. Set the altimeter here. Pretty quiet in here. I hear the fuel pump still running. Now that we have them, now we can turn, I believe we can turn the fuel pumps back to off. External. Main and external, okay. This can go on. Does this work now? Let's find out. It says it works, so. Put it on. It's pretty cool. still sounds about the same it looks a lot better I mean it looks nice let's check out the back here still got the school bus seats in there the windows are not as scratched up so you can actually look at them that's pretty nice they finally fixed that up I think they know that they overdid the scratches hopefully we'll see uh, when we get up in the air because this window used to be terrible but it already looks kind of cleaner very nice animation there We'll close that since it takes a little bit long to get off. Cool. Let's make sure everything is set correct here. Okay, we got the inertial separators on now. That is on. Okay. Fuel panel beacon. Alright. Alright, cool. Let's go give it a, a little bit of a test flight here. I really do love this plane. I haven't flown in a while, but it's very, very easy to fly, easy to handle. It, it works fantastically, usually. Let's get rid of the iPad there so we can see. Watch it. I don't know why there's always people standing on the runway, but hey. You know, it's still a little bit, you know, shake and bake on, on that. It's got really, really strong, strong jumping up and down now with the braking, which is pretty cool to see. I never know that it had that before. I like it, though. All right, let's go taxi over here and take off and see how it does. I like it. I don't know. So far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to test out the uh, autopilot, too. Let's see. Let me see something here. I'm going to brake here. 
Okay, so that works with the Bravo throttle. Does this work? Is another question. No, you're gonna have to hand dial that in, huh? Yeah, you're gonna have to hand dial that one. So that doesn't work exactly well with that. What's this? Hot mic on and off. Okay. This is a really cool plane. I don't know if the um, radio stack works, if you can get navigational with this. I, I'm curious. This would be a good plane to do a flight with. Okay. So far, so good. I, I definitely love this plane. One of my favorites. I'm curious to see when we get up in the air how scratched up the windows are. If I can see from just what we're looking at here, I could already tell you that it's looking a lot better than it used to from the previous videos I made on this aircraft. A lot of cool things, guys. I love when they do updates and they get it right. Now, before I say that, uh, let's go ahead and at least try to make sure that everything does work correctly. Alright. Put one more notch of flaps in. Alright, let's go ahead and spool up here. I'm going to put full beans on it here and see how it goes. Climbing up. Already in the air. Bringing the flaps up. Let's see, trimming up here. We are in the Bahamas, so I want to see if that works at all. It said that the condition lever and the fuel. The torque is going up instead of down when I take... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so... Yeah, it's working there. On the torque. So, that's the propellers. And this is your power. Down here. Let's see if we could trim this thing out. So far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. It's flying not bad at all. It's handling very well. Alright, I'm going to trim it up now and try to get the pressure off the stick here. I want to see how it handles on its own. Alright, it's starting to take. And it's still it's pulling to the left. I've seen that a lot. I guess that's kind of normal for these turbo props. Pretty stable though, so we'll go ahead and let it turn. We're going to turn with it. If you see though, the windows are not scratched up, which is really nice. Thank God they finally listened to us, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. They still left some scuffs and marks in, but they took out a lot of the scratching, which uh, made this plane unenjoyable to fly to be honest with you so i'm really really happy to see that fantastic job by the developers for listening to the people in the sim awesome awesome very very awesome i love this plane i'm definitely going to be flying it more now that you can have better visibility let's see what it looks like in the dark i'm always curious to see what the lighting is they the, supposedly they had some internal lighting um in here which uh they fixed up which is always a my one of my favorites is flying at night and seeing all the instruments lit up i don't know if anybody else enjoys that but i certainly do is that um brightness yeah it's saying brightness is on let's see all right let's see what we got for lighting any other lights I know they have lighting in here. Um, okay, so the radio stack's lit. These are lit. Let's 
Where's the lights? Let's put the autopilot on. The all dampers on. And we will do heading mode hold. Altitude hold. And we'll try to climb up here. We'll arm that. And we'll turn vertical. So the vertical climb does work pretty good as well. And then that will help us to um, go ahead and find the lighting here. So I believe these are supposed to be the lights. I just don't know why they're not working. That's kind of interesting. I need to make it a little bit darker in here and see if any of these will work. That's the gear up switch. I know there's more lighting somewhere in here. I thought that was the lights. Is there more lighting up here? Panel lights, there we go. There you go, now it's looking nice. Now, if you see it at night, it looks amazing. Whoops. That is not nighttime. I think that looks amazing. I like it a lot. And let's try the heading mode. Very nice. And you see, now you can see out the windows. You don't see all the scratches. It's way more pleasurable to see all the, uh, you know, outside views of the aircraft. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, this is going to be a pleasure to fly now. Thank God they have fixed a lot of things. This is great. This is great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. What a fantastic update. What a fantastic update. Thank God they have done this, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and put it back on daytime. We'll take the autopilot off, and uh, we'll go ahead and just give it a little bit of whirl here. I'm just curious how it handles. I've never tried to stall this thing. Let's just see how it goes. I hear some buzzing noises on the internal. Um, batteries on, that's on normal. Really pulling on those engines, huh? Oh, and we dipped. Okay. This is a very, very nice airplane to fly. I love it. I'm so glad they fixed it. All right, let's go ahead and try to land it and see how it lands. It still feels really, really good. The movement of it just is very, very good and smooth on the controls. It feels like a bigger aircraft. We're going to head pull out some power here. Put the props fully forward. Fuel's fully forward. Let's see. There's the fuel out. Fuel back in. So I just double check that for the condition levers. They used to be condition levers. They're not anymore. Radar is working. They said they have updated that as well, which is super cool to see. Really happy with that. So far, so good. I'm really, really enjoy this airplane. I'm glad to see that they worked on it. It's always been a pleasure to land this plane. It makes you feel like you know what you're doing. All right, we're gonna put in a notch of flaps here. Let's go with the gear down. And we'll trim down here. 
Mother notch of flaps. Pulling back the power now. I'm not the most conventional pilot, but I definitely enjoy this airplane a lot. This one's so much fun to fly. I love the way it's set up too. I like the organization in the cockpit, how it's all lined up nice. I don't know, this plane is really cool. It's very, uh, you know, you just click and go type of airplane. You can put in your flight plan with it and it will just get you to the destination. It's automatically preloaded in there. This is uh, one of those airplanes that's not exactly study level, but it's a pleasure to fly. And if you want to start with something that's a little bit easier on you where you don't have to adjust too much or like, you know, freak out about, this one will get you down to the ground every time, especially if you're not experienced as much as, um, you know, if you want something a little bit easier on you that's a twin turboprop plane. Also, this has a great stopping distance if you do mountains or short uh, range airports. It has reverse thrust that kick in and it will stop this plane very, very quickly. So that's another really, really good thing. Um, I'm looking at this here and I'm not even sure if this is a runway or what. Am I landing on a taxiway? Yes, I am. Oops, and there goes an airplane. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's all right. We're going to land it anyway. Oops. All right. I have the reverse thrust on right now. So it's not bad. We'll park it right over here. I don't know, guys. Let me know what your th thoughts are of this airplane. I, I love it. I always loved this plane. I just didn't enjoy flying because of the scratched up windows really made it kind of a, a nightmare in a lot of ways. Um, but other than that, it has been a great plane in my opinion. I, I really like it. Looks nice. That that's your landing light, your taxi light, your landing lights as well. Really nicely, nice plane in my opinion. All right, let's turn off the ignition. I think it's trying to start here. Oops. Inertial separators. Uh, for some reason, the inertial separators are not working, though. Oh, maybe that's why. I have them set up to a switch. Okay. That is definitely interesting. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Embraer. I really love this plane, man. It's a really nice aircraft, and they have finally fixed it. If you see out the windows here, it actually is cleared up, which is fantastic. The radar is working. And a lot of things are working really nicely. It's very well modeled. It looks like they have definitely worked on the modeling of the inside of this interior as well. It was always kind of like the school bus seatings, but it looks like they made them even nicer with some... Uh, a little bit of material instead of just like cut and dry. I like it. I think they did a fantastic job with it and it looks a lot better than it did before. Let's see if we see anything else. Yeah, no, but yeah, very, very nicely done. Very nicely done. I love it. I think it's really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps. And uh, if you didn't buy the plane, maybe you can now because it's, it's worth it.
All right. Bye now.